What a busy morning! We've received so many complaints today about the latest update to our company's accounting program. It's been hard trying to resolve callers' issues. Didn't you say you dealt with a really upset customer earlier, Lena? Yeah, she was working on a financial report for her company this morning and lost all her data when the program crashed. I can understand her frustration, but I'm still not looking forward to answering more calls after lunch. That's for sure. Anyway, speaking of lunch, how about going to the Italian restaurant across the street? My treat. Okay, but let's try to return to the office before 1 p.m. I need to finish filing some paperwork. Why have the speakers been busy? Number forty-two. What does Lena say recently happened? Number forty-three. What does the man offer to do? Can I help the next customer in line? Hello, I bought these bed sheets at your store last week, but they're not the correct size for my mattress, so I'd like to return them. Of course. Did you bring the receipt for the purchase with you? Um, I lost it. Does that mean that I can't get a refund? Do you have the same credit card you bought the items with? I can look up the transaction using the number. Yes, I have it in my wallet. Uh, let me just get it. Number forty four. What did the woman do last week? Number forty-five. What does the man imply when he says, "I can look up the transaction using the number"? Number forty-six. What will the woman most likely do next? Do you require some assistance? Yes, I'd like your opinion on which of these ties to get. Both of them have fashionable patterns, but I'm not sure if the black one will complement this suit I'm buying for my friend's wedding. Since the suit you've picked is grey, I think this sky blue tie matches it better. The black one seems too dark, in my opinion. Hmm, you're right. Plus, my friend said that light purple will be one of his wedding colors. So your recommendation will go better with that too. I'll put it on now just to make sure it suits me. If that's okay. Number forty-seven. Where most likely is the conversation taking place? Number forty-eight. What does the woman suggest? Number forty-nine. What will the man probably do next? Hi, I went to singer Farah Miller's concert last Thursday at your theater. 
but I was very disappointed that there were issues with the sound due to a microphone malfunction. I want a full refund for my ticket, please. I'm sorry about that, sir. However, we aren't providing refunds because the issue was caused by the band's equipment. I suggest you make a complaint on Farrah Miller's official website. I tried that yesterday, but I haven't heard back yet. Isn't there anything you can do to compensate me? Well, we can provide you with a 20% discount for a future performance at our venue. I hope this will make up for the inconvenience you've experienced. Number 50. What problem does the man mention? Number 51. What did the man do yesterday? Number 52. Why does the woman say we can provide you with a 20% discount. Okay, both candidates for the consumer analyst position are qualified. Either would be suitable for the job. I feel that Patricia Spaulding is more versatile as she's worked on different types of studies. What do you think, Jamie? I agree. She has used several methods to examine consumer trends and I'd like her help with some marketing research I'm in charge of now. Good idea. Also, I thought Ms. Spaulding was more approachable than the other candidate. Then let's offer Ms. Spaulding the position. We can notify her today. Stella, could you do that? I'll call her right after this meeting. Thanks. I know she's anxious to hear from us, so let's not keep her waiting. Number 53. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 54. What is Jamie currently working on? Number 55. What will the woman probably do after the meeting? Elaine, I have an idea. What if our company started subsidizing employee education? We could offer financial support for workers who want to pursue professional courses. I don't see why not. Many successful corporations invest in staff development and, based on last Friday's gathering with the Board of Directors, our company has enough money in its budget to do the same. So then, how much of the education costs do you think we should cover? The best way to determine that is to look into the amounts that other similar companies normally provide. Please do some research and let me know what you find. Number 56. What does the man suggest? Number 57. According to the woman, what took place last Friday? Number 58. What does the woman ask the man to do?
Hello, I'd like to purchase a pressure cooker from your department store. Uh, the Cookware 550. I can definitely take care of that for you, Mum. Have you ordered anything over the phone from us before? Yes, I have. There should be an account for Marilyn Tan with a home address at 100 Eastwood Street in Baltimore. However, I'd like the item shipped to my friend's home since it will be a gift for her housewarming party. Absolutely. Please just wait a moment while our system loads and then I'll enter all the necessary information. Number 59. Why does the woman place the call? Number 60. Why does the woman say, It will be a gift for her housewarming party. Number 61. What will the man probably do next? <laughs>